Alright guys, this is Dogam with another Minecraft video and today guys I want to show you how to make the motherboard 2.0 in an even improved version if you don't know what it is. The motherboard is a yeah, breeding array which is used to mass breed um, all kinds of animals, uh, mainly cows. Got one stray cow running around, that was one I spawned. The cows are kept safely in their respective spawning cells. You can call them forth and breed them here. If you do so, they will produce a little cow baby and that is transported away um, to a killing setup. If you wanna send the cows away again, you just press this button and cows are sent back automatically into their boxes and are kept there safely if you log in back and out, um, yeah, back in and out um, they will be still around in this way you can hold uh, large quantities of cows we improved the design by now again it's more compact and more simple to build you can see one prototype of a uh, holding den over there and based on this design we will make the motherboard 3.0 basically now in a step-by-step -step tutorial. Compared to our prototype here, um, the new version of holding cells I want to use for this tutorial is way more compact and of course um, more resource efficient. You can see two cells combined here and yeah we should add another one. One of these cells and we should start with a yeah isolated one just to show you how to build it is five blocks wide so just put down two rows of blocks like that and then have a little staircase here like this so the cows can ride up and what we need now is normal track normal track power track power track on top just like that and power track here power track there normal track normal track and these normal tracks are already the normal tracks of the next cell but yeah you will see when we add another one here what to do next is we need to create an area where we kind of hold the cows and we also need some light so put in a glowstone right there if you want you can replace that with anything <coughs> pumpkin or maybe even I don't know just stick torches to it um, same effect just want to have some light around also here on the sides make sure to close it off so the minecarts are kind of kept safe and stick another block down next to the power tracks and on the other side continue with our floor you see if you build that thing on the ground it will be even more resource efficient you could put your tracks directly on the ground and you don't need all these blocks below you would just need this 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 and the glass so last step or one of the last steps um, I'm using half slabs of course you could use full blocks this is to guide the minecarts in the right position so they don't you know jump over or whatnot and um, last thing um, these tracks need to be powered permanently so you stick two levers um, to the sides of it just like that very simple and almost done last thing we need um, we need to transfer our power so just redstone in here and on the other side we need a repeater let's get it oops and uh, let's replace the minecart here and you stick a repeater in there just like that that is used to transfer the power through our system and this is how you make one individual spawning cell so fairly simple and if you want to combine it and end up with a setup like this well I'm going to continue working on here because this is going to be our demo setup for the tutorial in the end we're not going to do like a huge scale thing like that maybe nine cells uh, is enough um, you will understand the principle and can extend it infinitely then well to expand you just go to the end of your previous cell just where the repeater is sitting and right there you pyramid up already or staircase up just like that and then you can throw in 
power tracks already. So bring the cows up and this is the area that is permanently powered. So like that. Here we're gonna store the cows and bring them up in front. So power track, power track, normal track, normal track. Um, a bunch of blocks to connect the power. So just do the same thing. Just like this. And now, well, all we have to do, um, put our glass around the thing again. Glowstone, half slabs, glass below, which is actually not 100% needed. Could save on it, but I just like the way it looks in the end. Yeah, and here we go, next cell edit. And you can see it's done really quickly and you would add more cells like that. There's many ways how you could arrange a breeding cell like that in my world tour. Um, download is available for that, by the way. We'll provide a link in the video description to the video of the last world tour episode. We used a circular yeah, positioning for the cells. This time I want to use a, a very compact setup for our nine cells we're going to use. So. Um, if you have your first row of cells right next to it with a distance of only one block you put down your next cells just like that this time we have to flip them around um, because you have to think a bit we're gonna send them out from here and they need to come up there so that means right here we need to have our exit so well Cows will land on here, so we go up a bit, just like that, staircase, and yeah, this is how we will position our next cell. So I will finish the setup, and I'll be back with the next steps. Okay, I got the tracks in there, and now it's time to power it again. Well, we have to look which uh, parts need to be powered, and here we have a little problem. Oh. Well, you don't have to call it a problem, a little issue, because levers would be in the way. Just put a block on top and stick the lever next to that. This way we power both sides. For the rest of the design we can follow our normal pattern. Here we put the levers down like that. And right there, just go one block up. So we catch both and we even save up on some levers and this way we power the whole system and yeah now just the glass again like we did on the other side and just like that here and there Oop. if you build it not in creative make sure you don't fall in the holes it can be super annoying you just place an unnecessary block there okay you know you got the idea right frame it in just like that should be good enough all right i got all the glass and half slabs in one thing you could do if you want to change the look of it a bit you can also put these levers on top here and put another half slab in um, I don't think you need it 100%, but yeah, it, there can be issues if minecarts are not always guided. So I suggest you go for the half slab here and still use the block, but either put the lever on top of it um, or even below. That should work as well, but yeah, for now we're just gonna put it on top and forget to switch them on. And last uh, sta stage of the build here, of course, we need um, we need to bring in the power again. So just as we did before, put in blocks here and connect all the way back and bring the power along, just like that. And this time, of course, we have to flick it around so we're coming in from the repeaters from that side and last but not least redstone Let's 
do it. Yeah, that's about it. Two cells combined. Now we're gonna make a or two, yeah, two rows combined, better say. And now we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna put another row next to the design right there. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, we got three more holding cells in there. Use the same principle, you know, using adjacent glass blocks and all that, just as we did in the middle. And now we need to connect things. So right here, we're gonna have our breeding bay. So we need to connect here. Well, I'm gonna use different colored wool. Let's use pink. So we can see it and yeah how you connect these things now is a yeah depends a bit how your design is set up uh, you can you know make sharp turns here try to save space so I'm gonna put one power track here in the middle probably just gonna connect over like that and here power track power track to give the thing enough space three more power tracks here and go like this and now of course these things need to be powered so leave it there leave it there leave it there leave it there all right so if we send out cows from here they just make it over to the next area and of course we do the same thing on the other side also make our connection here just as we did on the other side before so power track in the middle normal track normal track we have normal tracks on the outsides here power track power track one two three power tracks in the middle we had i believe yeah just like this power to it there did I power it from the outside or the inside just so we have a symmetrical look inside because it could need that space here to connect the power for the cells yeah and now um, we already got the loop going on um, we could cause we could call cars out here and they would keep on going shifting through so holding area is completed now it's time to make the breeding bay so holding area is done time to start the breeding cell what you do i'm going to use green wool for the breeding cell design right next to your exit here go up i'm going to go up for six blocks you can put your breeding bay wherever you want um, i'm choosing this position six blocks here you could bring it over and put it on top or to the sides or wherever you want try to keep your tracks as short as possible so yeah it is as fast as possible but yeah a design like that it's not about being super fast it is still fast and it's working nicely um, especially as it is as compact as this here if you make it bigger you might lose some speed, but that is made up by the sheer amount of animals you will be able to breed. Well, when you're done with that, make sure to go down. Excuse me, put pistons right here. Normal pistons, we don't need any sticky pistons. And put two blocks below it. And put two paintings on there. Make sure you get the one by ones. <laughs> Those are part of my texture pack here. Done by my viewers and friends and fans. <laughs> awesome the morning wood some redstone so yeah the um, paintings here will help to hold the mine cards up but um, also will help to let baby cows fall through and not interfere and um, so paintings are just perfect for the job and now we need to frame it in just like that When you are done with that, we need to think about powering these two pistons here. Those two pistons will be used to push out the minecarts that will sit on there, on the paintings and yeah, get the next cow. So how do we power them? Put a block 
down there, redstone, another block on top, button here. That powers these two pistons and now it's time to put a frame around it so the minecarts are sitting safe and cows are held in. So just put a stair there that covers the redstone and some more half slabs just around it. This is the basic shape for the breeding bay. Now we should take care of bringing the cows up. Well, just use power tracks all the way up here. You could probably save on some, but yeah, I'm gonna go for the full power track glory here. Get a lever so we can power it and just put the lever, let's say the lowest one, doesn't really matter. Just make sure to bring the power up. Now, as usual, we need a guide rail. We don't want the mobs to wear off and go somewhere else. So just like that, mob comes around and needs to be blocked. So we do this. They will come up here and be blocked and land perfectly on our signs here. Also, by using these blocks on top, let's get back up again. We are safe. We now no longer can fall down somewhere or whatever. And also, we can, of course, use our block here to put the button down that will be used to call force cows. Before we continue with the build, I suggest you do a little change. We had these levers here that were powering the upside or uphill tracks here. So make sure to put the levers a bit further up. Um, later on, you could get interference. And now um, we need to do another thing. We need to connect the cells with each other. Because if we would press the call button, the signal would travel, travel, travel and stop right here. Because yeah going nowhere. So how do we want to do that now? Well, we should go underground. So dig down to over here and we're gonna use another color, let's say orange, to do the powering here. So basically should power it from below redstone on top there and we might want to use torches so go like that put a torch below and let's go back up now of course this would be permanently powered and that is something we don't want so maybe you can dig around here so you have more space to work with let's knock this all out you can fill it in later on again and yeah now just gonna put a torch here and we're gonna bring the power down grab it from here and put it into the floor torch goes off if you press the button now signal should be passed on um, we haven't connected it yet later on we'll do that and now we have to do the same thing on this side so dig out and connect. I will do that and we'll be back with the next, next stage of the build. So now, as we can send a signal through the whole system, we need to create a signal. We're gonna use our call button on top here and we need a repeater, it's important. Put the repeater right on that block. We can grab the signal from here now, but keep in mind there's the piston button here, so we need to use a repeater so we don't get any interference. Bring it out one block, there's another torch, and now we're gonna go down again. So, redstone, torch, and we need to connect it to the area below. So, just make a little staircase here. Um, this redstone you can knock this block out you don't need it and done now we should be able to send power through the whole system 
So let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Let's try again. Yeah, beautiful. You could see the pulse or the pulse going through. Bam, there we go. Yep, working. Sweet. To finalize the whole design, we need to take care of the baby cows now and also we need to bring back um, the cows that were bred into the loop. So just go down like this beneath your paintings here and make this platform, put two blocks down like this. This will be used to catch the cows and separate them from the minecarts with the adult cows. So. What we need to do is we need to create water flows that bring the cows away. Okay, we can do that. First thing though, put a glass block here in the middle. I'm using glass. You can use whatever, but I like to use glass for good visibility. Two signs on the sides and now use tracks like this. Cut it off like um, there and I don't know power it we could use a torch for example or a lever whatever you want to use power it from somewhere just make sure they are powered next up more glass I'm using glass for good visibility but as I said you can use other blocks as well close it off here just like so when you are done with that, it's up to you where you want to bring your cows to. Um, just make sure you have at least a two high drop here. So, in fact, a three high drop so the cows don't interfere. If you drop them only one block, they might block each other off if you breed too many and whatnot. So just to be safe, make a three wide drop. And yeah, this would lead to our breeding bay um, where you would store the cows you've bred. Or whatever I'm just gonna have a little hole where we're gonna dump them in now make sure to close off the sides so the cows cannot escape and yeah you can do whatever um, with them from that point on um, there's different ways to do cooker setups you could use a dispenser with lava and so on um, I used one of the designs over there I might show you how it's done in the end really simple so yeah um, keep on extending walls as I said it's not necessary to use glass here if you want to save up on resources you can even use cobble probably look a bit ugly but hey who cares as long as it's working so good enough here now we need more signs one two three those signs are used uh, to block off the water to stop it from flowing out here and now yeah talking about water put three source blocks in there and there we go um, that will be used to flush out our cow babies and now you can close it off here again and yeah as soon as you reach that area cows will drop down they will not be able to escape on top here if you just want to be 100% sure block off like this but it's not needed they will not be able to jump out there yeah now you can close it off um, you can even go down you don't even need these blocks here you can save on them and block it off give them a too high space to walk in and yeah we made sure we have that here and that's it that's how it works. When the cows fall down, they will be dragged on by the water stream, separated, dropped down here and transported away. And all that is left now is yeah, to connect the outbound lines here with our system again. To connect the outgoing lines, you always have various options. You could go underground, um, on yeah, over top, wherever. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go for a very simple loop make sure to use power tracks ever so often every 
30 blocks should be enough in theory, but here you might want to use one or two more just to make sure the system runs stable. For now, I'm just going to connect to back here. And yeah, repeat the same thing for the other line. So we're going to have some power track here. We're going to throw in some more later on. As I said, you can do that more space efficient. Um, I would suggest you go underground, drop the cars down here and just use two straight lines to bring him back and up here again. That should be the fastest way. Or yeah, but it depends a lot where you have your breeding bay. So as I said, lots of variations and room for own ideas and designs here. There we go. That is powered by that lever already. Yeah, let's say, um, let's put a power track here. Put some there. They should be able to make it, but we might want to give him an extra boost. And now some levers to power all the tracks we have in there. There. Different ways you could do it, of course, use torches below, whatever you want to do. But I think levers are a good way to go because yeah, you save quite some resources, easy to make just some wood and cobble. So there we go. Um, setup should be completed and we should be able to give it a test run. So let's press our button just to see if our signal is traveling through nicely. Yeah. Perfect, and now it's time for the most tedious part, loading up the system. Um, I'll show you how it's done. Actually, it's not that annoying, um, but yeah, take some time. To help you fill up your system, you basically would make a breeding areas for cows like that, or you would catch them. And um, using minecarts and tracks is pretty easy. Yeah, to fill up your system, you would just knock the tr knock out the tracks back here and put down some of them like this. Maybe it's just about getting the cows on there. Maybe some more. Yeah, and then you would use your minecart, catch the cow, push it through the glass, and just load it into the bay. Fairly simple. Catch another one. Make sure the minecart is moving while you try to catch mobs with minecarts. Push it out a bit. And there we go. You got your first pair in. Then you just go to your call button. Press it once. Send a signal through and yeah. Cows advance to the next spot and then you would repeat it until you are fully loaded. Okay, we got our system stocked and now it should be log out safe. Let's try it out. Military breeding. There we go. Cows are sitting there perfectly. Sometimes there can be a graphical glitch where it looks like the cows have left the minecart, but it fixes itself after a few seconds. And also, if you would press the call button, the cows would just yeah move on so let's give it a test run um, I need to get some wheat um, so we can actually do some breeding all right let's call him signal goes through cows are rotating nicely we got two of them in here let's breed them baby cow drops sport force and collect it those two are ready to be sand off, so just press the button. Off they go. Back in their boxes. And that would be um, the time you can lock in and out. Don't lock in and out when you have cows sitting on here. They will probably drop through and you will lose them and they will end up in your chute down there. So you would not have them roaming around, but you would lose them. And that's the idea of the whole breeding bay 
you know you need to be able to store them log out safe and that is what we do with that design um, last but not least I want to show you a cooker um, to create cookers well fairly simple what you need is just some lava bucket and the dispenser torch a bit of redstone so you set it up like that you have a dispenser you can use a torch powder block next to it and you have redstone put down a button um, a block there close it off just hide it go away cow just like that and if you put a button on here listen two clicks that is exactly what we need put the lava bucket in there press the button and you get that lava blade it comes out and retracts immediately set things on fire and kills the baby cow you will not get any loot from the baby cows that is sure and I want to show you a little thing it is important um, yeah to help with a working system let me grab um, some cows here okay look the cows have quite some hit points so if we have the cows in here let's put those three in there activate our cooker lava retracts really quickly it's good enough to kill off pigs because <clears throat> they have a little bit or less hit points but for the cows that will happen they will not die and if you punch them now they would be one shot killed and they would be dead but you will not get cooked meat well how to solve that is you need to weaken the cows uh, a bit before the easiest way to do it well just give them some fall damage drop them down five blocks from your chute should be good enough to give them half a heart or a heart of damage or use a lava blade somewhere in there to damage them a little bit um, to make sure when they arrive down here they are hurt so let's punch them just a little bit here to weaken them a bit and now set them on fire and you will see the difference when the cows die while they are on fire you will get cooked steak and not only the normal steaks you see it so that is the idea you want to have cooked steaks right away so make sure to weaken them a bit beforehand by either using drop damage or as I said put in a small lava blade use signs to hold up the lava a one white lava thing would be enough just weaken them a little bit and yeah that concludes the tutorial for the motherboard <laughs> 2 point. Oh, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun building one of that in your own worlds. Should be fairly simple now. I'm out. Make sure to tell your friends. Bye bye.